What's going on? Welcome to Big Gaming with Titus, man. And so, look, man, we back on this LA Noir Part 4, man. And I think the last episode, bruh, we did where we had to, like, find out what happened to that car, console, kusuler, whatever name, car, um, queso dip car, whatever his name is called. You feel what I'm saying? Also, we had a little freaky bug and all that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was the last episode, man. But now we on this episode for LA Noir. Look, man, we on the grind right now in the channel. We started from fresh, man. So, look, man, we're going to grind. We're going to take how long we need to take to get to where we need to be at. You feel me? So, look, man, with this, that being said, if you like the gameplay, leave a like, comment, subscribe, shut your friend, man. So, look, we on the episode four. Hey, let's get into it, man. Enough talking, bro. Hey, let's get into it right now, man. Yes, sir, Ski, a marriage made in heaven. Yes, sir. I forgot all about this. And anything beyond here now, bro, I really forgot what it was. I'm not going to say a lot. So, this is really almost brand new to me at this point. You feel me? So, but, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. See, all right. oh, my God, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. It do nasty. He sat there and stood there for a minute, bro. It didn't pull it off. Nah, he knew what he was doing, bro. That's insane. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. That was a quick uh, debrief uh, brief on the uh, mission, but I guess. Can we change the. Oh, we can change the fit now. Yes, sir, ski. Hold on, let's see. I'm going to put on. Look, I'm going to put something good on. Let's see. Uh, oh, they got description to it. It says shoot straighter with the. 45 okay this one says okay that's just okay no nah, we ain't wearing that no more we we passed that boy i ain't gonna lie man we gonna wear the little simple you know what I'm saying two-piece you know what I'm saying with the uh, vest and shirt we gonna do that man you feel me okay real detective on me look y'all underdressed man what y'all talking about man all right race cafe at 4 24 a.m okay man crime scene look crazy already we didn't even get out the car yet oh what well, we did now but oh my goodness bro Look at Buddy. Nah, Buddy got that Yamcha pose. Nah, that's nasty work, bro. And she's smoking a square, boy, man. Look, she looking away. She ain't trying to see that, boy. But I ain't gonna lie. I had to change the fit. I ain't gonna lie. That 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 no that no coat was looking kind of nasty to me. I had to put that coat on. You feel me? Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Her name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the Yellow Brick Road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Boy, I ain't going to lie. That fit look clean on the cutscene. Hey, boy. This might be my go-to fit the whole entire time. Boy, I ain't even going to lie. Oh my dang, nah, I ain't gonna lie. That's insane. But now I'm saying though, like a simple car wreck or you know what I'm saying should not have had this much blood involved in it though. Like look at buddy, like look at how much blood he is though. Nah. Let's get hit by, with a car ornament or something, like you know, like a like a Maybag ornament or something, you feel me? Uh, it says Lester Patterson, okay, whoever it is. It says oh, what's this? It says insurance letter. Has life insurance. Oh, some of 16K. Oh. Now, I ain't going to lie. 16K back in 1900 was probably like a million dollars back in the day, boy. So, 16,000 was probably going to change people's lives, bro. Ah, man. She whacked my man for the insurance bread. Ah, nah. She's nasty, bro. We can notify next of kin. Let's see what it says. It says, I cannot read this. It's so, hold on. Let's see what it says. 5'8", okay, 5'8", brown eyes, brown hair, okay. He, he got $2 in there? We probably need that $2. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Put it back, boy. <laughs> nah, we $2 go get us a good bag of chip, man. $2 like you a whole store back in 1900s. What do you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Bro, but I'm saying, though, like, bro, like, that can't be no hood ornament, though. Like, look at all that blood on the ground, bro. Like, it's like Buddy got shanked up or something before he got hit. Like, I don't know. That's insane, bro. Like, man, I don't know. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. All right, Shannon Perry, blue eyes, blonde hair, 24. Let's see. 
Uh, she looked like she's 27, 28, you feel me? But, hey, you're okay. Hey, eyewitness, tell me what's going on. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. I mean, I thought she telling the truth. I mean, like I said, she, she a witness, so yeah, she might be telling the truth on that. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Okay, that was that was anticlimactic, but I mean, I guess, bro. But hey, man, what's vehicle look like? What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. It's fact she know. It's the fact she really telling the truth though. It's crazy though. Like what? The license plate. Only the first three letters. I'm afraid. That's all we need. Three C eight. That's all we needed. <laughs> to, uh, the, 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 whatever it's called, the uh, whatever it is. Tell me more about the argument. Well, there were two voices, a man and a woman. That's all. Like I said, when she did a little face, yeah, say, look, I'm look, right now, I'm for the bad cop. You already, like, come on, shorty. I ain't want a bad cop. You did good at first, but now I got a bad cop. Look at Buddy. He got that gut on him, boy. Oh, my goodness. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper, I'm trying to find work as an actress and... Things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Bro, one thing about this game is that, bro, I hate when they, like, bad cop somebody, they yell at them to the maximum, and then, like, when they get done talking to them, interrogate them, it's always a, uh, oh, yeah, thanks, Miss Perry, we appreciate you, oh, my God, you've been a big help, like, bro, like, you just didn't yell at her top of your lungs, Cole, like, bro, I guess, bro. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch, hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Ah, uh, nah, bro. He taking your girl home, too, bro? If he, if you, if you got whacked? Ah, uh, nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can't go for that, bro. Hey, I'm coming back from the after realm or something. Get on, buddy. <laughs> ain't no way. But anyway, he got Dudley Lynch, brown eyes, brown hair, 33. Let me say 33. Look about 33. I ain't gonna lie. Barton at Ray's Cafe. Hey, what's going on with the hit and run accident, man? What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Bro, stop it, bro. Gee, you're literally in front of the crime scene, bro. The body probably ain't even two feet from your front door, bro. Stop playing with me, bro, if I book you, man. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Like, come on, bro. Like, why would you, like, like, like I'm telling you, it's like, they lie for no reason. It's like, bro, what is the point of you even holding up information like that right there? Like, you, I mean, you a prime suspect now, bro. Like, I guess, bro. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Now, I kind of feel like telling the truth on that, bro. You feel me? I kind of feel like, because you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I just feel like it. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. So what she came for then, bro? She came for a buddy that dropped him off out of the crib? Come on now, bro. Everything, everything clicking together, boy. Typical, man, man. Look, typical, typical insurance fry. Hey, already, already know. A witness overheard an argument. <laughs> Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Like, now, I, I don't know if he's telling the truth or not on this, bro. Like, hold on. Like, uh, I remember, remember, remember you say that again, because uh, he laughing too much. I don't understand now. Hold on. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Like I said, she did say that, though, the, the eyewitness. So it's like, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, no, it's not like he's lying. But I feel like he's holding out information or something. I'm a, I'm a bad copy. I'm going to go back up because I don't like how he's just looking around like this. They don't, like, it's like they, I don't know. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? 
What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo, the owner. All right, bet. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like they make them these. They make they make them, bro. Like, do weird faces just to throw you off. It's like I guess, bro. I, I kind of understand that, but on to the next question, though. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. Like I said, come on now, bro. Like, gee, let's be real. You're literally the main bartender here, if only the only one. Bro, hey, look, I ain't gonna lie. I got a pair of cuffs in the, in, in the back of the, uh, what's it called? The paddy wagon right now, bro. So quit playing with me, bro. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you gonna tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. Oh, nah, he won. Nah, he won those people. I, I see. I see what's going on. He was too scared to tell his real information of what's going on with the uh, scene or with the store. He's trying to keep his job. Okay, I see. He's trying to do. Uh, he's trying to keep that bread in his pocket. Okay, he ain't trying to talk too much. He want to get closed down. The only job he got. Yeah, I'm. I'm hip to the game. I don't think we. I still got clues though. I don't know if this is the nice thing. Hold on, let me see. No, we got here. Hold on. Oh nah, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. A bloody knife. A knife covered in. Blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away. Bro, number number one, Cole, you touch that with your bare hands is insane. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. The but the same time, bro, you tell me a steak knife, bro. A steak is this bloody, bro. Come on, bro. Like, no, I've never seen no steak this bloody in my life, bro. Like, come on now. Nah, yeah, that's a nasty. No, nah, hold on. Is that a clue though? Okay, best of clues, cool, baby, baby, alright, Yeah, man, that's insane, bro. Nah, I'm not trying to hear that, bro. Alright, passion resting. Yeah, this is good. It's him and his girl create. 4 30 in the morning. 4 30 in the morning. Oh my god. We we up early with the case. I, I, I now realize that. Yeah, that's not gonna the door, man. Cause nah, his nah, we need some questions. We need we need to start answering something. Yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Nah, she looked too happy, boy, that her husband died. Like, nah, you supposed to be boo-hooing somewhere. Mascara running, boy. Nah, that's nasty. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car, and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one bias again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. Ah, uh, nah, then he macking on your girl. Ah, uh, nah, I ain't going to lie to you, boy. Hey, I can't go for that. Nah, I'm coming back from the afterlife. I'm gonna... No, bro. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. No, I'm not. Oh, me. No, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Now, that's kind of insane. The fact that your husband literally is gonna matter if he was abusive or not. The fact that you know that he died, bro, and you was with him, though, it ain't no type of emotion involved. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Nah, that's nasty work, though. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. 
like now, sit home look at my notebook. So she already but she already BS and hold on, I'm gonna see. I got I got any statements on see it says Okay, that's that's just, that's just argument. This is okay, wait, this, okay. Let's see it says insurance letter found. I, I'm not gonna use that. I'm 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 just gonna sit here and just back copper though. You expect me to believe that, Lorna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me, he was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. But nah, she looking around too much, bro. Nah, she know who that driver is. Like, look at her, boy. She look around the crib. You just seen that same ceiling decoration for the past 25 years you've been in this crib. Don't play with me, bro. What's some little nasty little ceilings, some little, the little droopy ceilings, the little sharp ceilings that they had back in there? But come on, stop playing with me, bro. Beat it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, hey let's, let's get the paddy wagon ready. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We're always arguing. So what? Like now, he said, like we're always arguing. So what? I mean, like I said, obviously, we have a statement saying that they both argue. Some lady heard him over. It says prior to accident. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's no point in putting this in there. Then it says possible between. Like, now, this right here is stupid. Like, it says possible business partner between Leroy and Lorna. It's like, bro, what do I even say? Because I think if I bad cop this. And insurance letter is like, it says, man, I ain't going to lie. I feel like I should bad cop this, bro. Like, I'm like, I'm going to use this wishing. I'm, I ain't going to lie. Because I, I don't know about this one. This one right here is this stump me. See, I'm glad I did that. So, yeah, it's a bad cop then. Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait what do you mean by that? You was on your back getting it? Oh, I ain't going to lie. You're nasty. Nah. Nah, I ain't going to lie. You don't even look 33. You look about 42 anyway. I just don't realize that. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Troy, stop it, bro. Stop it. We, I got to. Now, like I said, I, I'm not trying to sit here and put. Because, like, I know it's going to be this probably. It's common sense. But we're going to put this anyway. I don't care. We, 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 we've been good at this for the past three episodes. So, if we get one wrong, who cares? You feel me? You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? Oh, yeah. We're going to back it up because we're good at good insurance letter. Yeah. You increased the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, pinochle, you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. You and Mr. Sabo... Have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. No, nah, that's kind of nasty, bro. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of insane, bro. You knew your uh, husband fights a lot. He he uh, uh he argue a lot. So you increase his uh insurance uh, uh uh rate, whatever it's called. Because you knew something was gonna happen to him? Nah, that's insane, bro. Like she's that she's nasty you know for that. Way. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again. The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding. You can at least close his eyes, though. That's kind of crazy, bro. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death. Long, sharp knife, length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. But why do I keep we saying that, bro? Like, like, what does that mean, bro? Like, like is that supposed to be like a rooms type of like quote or something, bro? Like, I guess, bro. Alright, Shelton residence, 7.43 a.m. But we've been out for like three, four hours. Golly, bro. Oh, yeah, buddy making a run for it. He got all his bags packed. Oh, yeah, bro. 
he still got the same. I, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'll take that car across the scale, bro. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Bro, why would you catch the suitcase, though, Cole? Like, are you serious, bro? Like, yeah, Cole a rookie, bro. Like, come on now, man. Oh, this is a chasing tool? Oh, nah. That car fat to them? Oh, hey, nah. I, oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, hey, that was clean, wasn't it? Hold on. Nah, run boy down. Nah, hold on. This car got no power steering, bro. Oh, my goodness. Come on, man. Chase him. Man, shoot him or something. Bro. Not shoot him, but like, oh, my God. <laughs> no, shoot the tires out or so, bro. Like... Bro, my bad, G. Look, look, that's like hundred dollars worth of damage. I ain't gonna lie to you. We'll get that fixed later. Come on, man. Enough games, Phelps. I'm Stay trying to knock his car out the way, bro. Man, I ain't gonna lie. No wonder he oh my goodness. Driving like this. G, I ain't gonna lie. The power steering here is crazy, boy. Now nah, these, these 1900 cars is nasty. Hold on. Mm -mm. Uh uh. Uh uh. Put that over. Put that over. G, his car smoking or anything? Oh, I'm, oh yeah, it's head on. It's right here. Mm -mm, yeah. I know you give up. That was a clean little what's name. Mm -mm. Cole, get it from the car. Put your hands in the air. The fact your car broke down so easily is nasty, though. Manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. That's crazy, bro. Like, we the man. Knife. We have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. So, initial report came back with an ID on our victim, Lester D. Pattison of 182 North Hope Street. Captain wants us there double quick. Man, we go back to her crib, bro. Nah, bro. Because they bring in for questions. We go back to her crib real quick. We spoke to the coroner, Mrs. Pattison. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was That's Leroy. nasty. See, I already knew. I so Leroy stabbed Leroy me. Now? Oh my goodness, bro. He's in the bedroom. And he got blick up. Oh nah, man. He got full Nikki on him. Oh nah, put the gun down, G, please. You don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how he had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim. All that These mocap faces insane, bro. Like, bro, how much money they had to make this back in the day without these mocaps, bro? You think I'm gonna fry for you, crazy man? Shoot him! Shoot him for God's sake! Oh my God, bro. G, nah, why she fall like that? Hey, come back here, G. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. We gonna pop, dude. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, hold on. Uh. He he did a good uh he gonna cut that's crazy not gonna lie uh, yeah you got yeah you gotta get that up bro hold on nah come on he running too much bro you, come on where are you going G oh my goodness no not a hostage G nah dude's nasty bro and then there's a, a sister on top of that oh my Weapon goodness bro now. G put the gun down G put the gun down G put your weapons down oh my God hey <laughs> Hey, no, bro. I shot like three, four times, bro. Not a shot in the air, bro. Nah, I was hurt of rest, bro. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on the detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. 
Yes, Sersky, nine clues found, 10 correct. Oh, $26 worth of vehicle damage. Oh, I did hit Buddy in the back, though. I did knock one of his taillights out there. Now, it's another visit to Ray's, and you would have seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. What? That makes no sense. So, what? I guess, bro. Like, they make you they make you go back and forth to different things. I don't understand it. But, yeah, that's probably the end of this right here, man. Look, man. I like this right here, bro. I'm telling you, this game brings back so many memories, bro. But, look, man. End of the video. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, man. I'm a hot man. Peace.